Okay. Astian X. Boom. Is it Astyanax or like Astyanax? If I had what yet? No, I haven't. That looks good. This is um, similar to the Legendary Axe. I believe it's the same developer, Acom. You would think from the spelling that it's Icom, but it's not. It's A. <laughs> Look at... <laughs> Look at this face! Oh, man. That is Zero Wing, specifically the Mega Drive version. I've heard this game is not as good as the Legendary Axe. Yeah, it's called the Lord of King in Japanese, so. Yeah, a generally Acom makes jank. Legendary Axe, I think, is sort of an aberration. It's the Lord of King. Cause that like it's it's written in Roman letters uh, on like the marquee for the arcade version, I think. All I know about this game is the music seems really awesome until you get to the second level. Like, the intro song was fine. Title screen song was pretty cool. Woo! <laughs> oh, I get it. This is Remley. <laughs> this is pretty silly. I can't stand that game and like for a while when I was like doing um I used to just only do blind runs of action games on stream like pretty much nothing else and like every week or so someone would show up and be like a black horn anyway and be like hey I've got a I've got a hidden gem that you might like. You want to know what it is? <laughs> and I'd be like, yeah, sure. And 98% of the time, it was either totally rad or Kickmaster. Those two games that it's like, yeah, I've, I've played those. I don't like them. <laughs> <laughs> what a good cover this is. The Japanese one. One feature I wish OBS had is I'd like to be able to just drag and drop images onto the screen. I don't know why I'm not skipping the cutscene because I'm I'm not reading it. <laughs> I can't do it myself. I assume someone's invested in the story now, so whoa! So I can't skip it. This magic axe bash. I have ya.
Finally. Anyone want to give me the Cliff's notes of that story? I was... I was doing other stuff. <laughs> oh, this kicks ass. So this song's really good, and then, like, every other song in the game sucks. <laughs> Look at this sprite. Oh my god! Oh no, I respawned it. Look at this. Whoa, he went away. I think the game has an input buffering bug. Oh my god! <laughs> yep! I haven't been that, like, just genuinely surprised by a video game in at least two hours. Yeah, that right there. I got hit out of an attack, and he immediately attacked upon recovering from hit stun, but I only hit B once. He is. <laughs> this is actually a pretty serious bug. I'm sort of surprised it is in the game. What's the, like... Japanese, like, ceremonial sword that this looks like. It has the word for seven in it. How do you cast magic, anyway? I'm guessing up plus B. Oh dear. Oh. Oh no. Oh no! That wasn't the whole thing. <laughs> Eat it. The Aremlia. Yes! This guy's name is Thorn Dog. That was Caesar. <laughs> he was brought here by Cutie, Princess Rosebud's friend. <laughs> I was expecting him to say like retainer or like familiar or something, but no. 
they do each other's nails and watch the last unicorn <laughs> at, at like sleepovers. That's her name. God. Oh no! Dude, this one's tricky as shit. He has like a thousand HP. Boosh. That was pointless. Dear. HP? Huh. It was. That guy was way easier than the, like... <gasps> than the mini-boss of the first level. I just really like that noise. I don't know, is this only funny to me? I think this is awesome. Ah, yes, I was just thinking this is missing vertical platforming. Did you see that? <laughs> he looks really silly when he jumps. I only just now noticed it. Speaking of color palettes, this is an NES RGB, meaning it has support for up to three palettes. And like a fool, I asked the person who installed this to configure it to switch between three palettes that are ultimately very similar. Wow, that one looks really sick for this game. What do you think? This one? This one. This one. For most games, the palettes look like basically identical. It is, it is the goatee hand pose. <laughs> well, not really. Oh dear.
Yeah, but no one knows what that is. I think that's always going to be up to interpretation because the, the system doesn't have like RGB values defined for the palette. teleports or is she just gone no there she is okay i heard that they actually made it that miyamoto has actually stated that they were going for periwinkle You know, death of the author and whatnot, who cares what he thinks, but it has been said. Oh! Oh. Why was this boss so much easier than the round one boss? <laughs> that guy was hard as hell. Was that little riff that like I really want to beat Dark Souls Deathless. When I was running it, I, I every single one of my PBs had a death. I was not very good at Dark Souls, in other words. <laughs> I hope. I can't. <laughs> Barely looks like he's awake. I've never played it before. Is it really? Take that, jerk. Oh, oh, ta. Oh, asked you next. You've done it this time. What? What? Huh? No! I wanted this spell up. Why would I want to do... Is that just attack speed? Doesn't look like it. Oh, Don Piano. It's like a Minotaur with like Tesla coil horns. <laughs> I just made it screen wrap. down and died and went, all right, I'm done. Fine by me. Rent? <laughs> what? Oh, dear. Oh, no. That's not a good way to do horizontal platforming at all. Oh, 
come on. No, what? <laughs> that was dirty. Dude, ACOM games have strange... Oh, I see. <laughs> Have strange difficulty curves, you know that? I watched somebody play um, Amagon, Starman JSP. He tried Amagon and he liked it, and so he decided he was going to beat it. He ended up 1CCing it. And, like, the game makes no sense. <laughs> it's, like, harder toward the beginning than at the end, basically. It took him forever to learn to 1cc out of the second stage, and then when he did, he just beat the whole game. <laughs> what? Oh my god, how'd that hit me? Whoa, it's like a big brain. Or something. You know what I mean? It's like a brain with, like, Pig features. Whoa. Thought this might happen. Oh, wow. <laughs> Used all my magic. But I win. Rent clear. I feel. Yep, this is what it was called. Bug, did you see uh, Sheriff Ram sent us Coke? So maybe be on the lookout for that to show up on the doorstep. Ew. That's gross. Yeah. This is our territory. I have strengthened the spell binding rosebud. Oh. <laughs> huh, yeah. <laughs> what did I miss? I looked over and it just said, cutie telepathically. Thorn dog. <laughs> Platform has eyes. God, stop it with this fish. Get this duck away from me. Oh! No!
Oh, I lost a level of sword. Yeah, it happened earlier, <laughs> and I reset. <laughs> Oh no, right. Oh, I died. Well, I it's probably they just changed it because they didn't expect people to know what the hell um, the Japanese thing was. See, like, I feel like Acom knew, like, knew that, like, some people liked it when games were hard. And so they just <laughs> kept messing with their games until they were tough, and <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Here's the weird thing. Remember I played that Acom basketball game that really sucked on the TG-16, taking it to the hoop? Apparently they're like sort of basketball. I, I said baseball, I meant to say basketball. Apparently they're sort of like basketball specialists. Like they'd done other like arcade basketball games and stuff. Uh, it's just sort of picky about your positioning, but I'm really, <laughs> I regret this so much. I couldn't decide whether I wanted to just make the jump or try to go back. And so I tried to do both at the same time and now I'm down there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> This is so dumb that this works. It doesn't work. You get out of here. There we go. works too. I really like this encounter here. The really slow enemy sneaking up behind you. Thank you. 
I have to hope this is health. Oh, it's her. Bell up. Nice, thank you. Well. Screwed up, I did him backwards. <laughs> You're supposed to do a standing attack and then a jumping attack, not the other way around. Wow, two. I need to scroll back to the right before I kill this thing because like this game's respawn behavior feels a little similar to like Ninja Gaiden where if you kill an enemy and its spawn point is like relatively close to the edge of the screen it's probably going to respawn. rhythm song. Oh, I get it because of the, the platforms. That's funny. It was in hit stun because I did the attack. How many stages are there in this game? I'm going to guess six. I walked. I would have been fine if I hadn't walked. All right, let's see if there it continues. Yes. Are they finite? The continues? Hey Zero, how's it going? It only occurred to me just now that I could probably just say zero instead of zero himself. <laughs> like the whole thing, you know? But he didn't do it! Why didn't he do it? They're supposed to go up? Unlimited. I'll be damned. The jumping strat doesn't work. This may be luck dependent, and if that is the case... I think the ideal thing to do... would be magic... when you can... and otherwise damage boost.
There's a face on the tree stumps. Can you imagine how satisfying it would be to go for a damageless <laughs> clear of this? Yeah, you're right. I did notice the face now that you mention it. There we go. I think those can really only be or be my only two planned magic casts. This isn't looking good. Oh, right. Yeah, no, I can do... I can cast magic for all of those because you get it back here. I had to. Nice. <laughs> fish. Oh dear. Uh, I think the last time I got to that totem it wasn't HP, but I'm not sure. Shit. Dude, this one means business. These are very legendary Axe 2 style <laughs> skeletons, which is funny because that wasn't an Acom game. Uh, and NES. It's, uh, NES RGB. If the palette looks weird, I don't know. I don't know which one is closest to what it would look like on composite, but I prefer this one. Boom. Can I just leave? No. There we go. Uh, honestly, no. <laughs> It's an end unit, you can tell him that. Yeah, the graphics are okay, I guess. I don't know, you know, that first stage isn't that... Or that first section of stage four really isn't that bad. Like... I still think damage boosting occasionally is probably the right call because it's random whether the fish guys throw the spears.
But the fact that you have the guaranteed magic re uh, refill in the middle of it is huge. Boxes are really generous. Yeah, that HP drop is not guaranteed, I think, bug in the previous level. Damn. I tried to do up B there to cast magic. I don't know if I didn't have enough um, meter or what. Oh, that might have been the glitch that happens when you get hit out of an attack, come to think of it. I was talking to Bug. Oh. You were the one that was asking if the HP was guaranteed? I'll be damned. I don't know. The way that these skeletons counterattack after they block is like pretty interesting, actually. Like they interact in kind of clever ways with the really quite simple level geometry. I don't know, Bug. Really? I just... Like, this is really, really interesting to me, this, this fight right here. Like, the little steps behind you. Change that fight so much. Huh. Time stopped. Wait. Ah, okay. <laughs> there are other spells. Holy crap. Wait a sec. Thank you. 
Grave clear. Yeah, I don't know. 4-1 has been the only hard part, like, at all. But that's really, like, Legendary X, how the damage values are all over the place. Like, all of that boss's attacks did one damage. <laughs> it feels like some stuff has to do at least two, if not three. I like how she's got leg warmers. <laughs> The Castle Telenea. Are those just points? They're like Zippos? There's an enemy! Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah, the music's okay. <laughs> I think, like, it's kind of all over the place. The stage one music is really good. Hi there. Uh, oh, come on. I know the magic is useful to have later, but I feel like it's worth burning it there. That was the one that killed me last time, right? No, I think I got this far, didn't I? If you see me attack again immediately after getting hit, I'm not actually pressing the button there. The game just does that. <laughs> yes! I can't. I can't deal with it. These guys attack, like, totally randomly. Oh my god. 
Well, that didn't... <laughs> this didn't go well. Get up. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Oh, they added Duck Hunt to Smash, didn't they? <laughs> like, decades ago. Oh, dear. Wait, yeah, I should have spawned this guy first. That's decades, isn't it? I don't know, I've never been into Smash. Smash's only presence in my life is, it's the thing that uh, Deep Left and Bot talks about. It's like the funniest thing in the world to me. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I've said this before. I feel like any game any hobbyist community is going to have problem people in it. When uh, news started to come out about how there were a lot of maybe not that great people in the Smash scene, I saw, like, fighting game people cracking up about it and, like, look, I was, I was way into fighting games. There are scumbags in that scene, too. <laughs> They didn't really have any room to talk. Yeah, you don't like having to learn like big combo strings or anything, right? I feel like we've talked about this. Not that you can't do that in Smash, of course, but... Dude, is this thing weaker than the axe? Really? Mess with them how? Is it another <laughs> Mr. Person or something? I've done it again. <laughs> God, of course. Yeah, I like, I find Smash Brothers harder to play than traditional fighting games, but. I have a lot of experience with Guilty Gear and a little bit with Super Turbo and Third Strike, so of course I would, you know. Dear. Dude, I think the, like, sword is worse than the axe, even though it's, like, an upgrade from it. Unless there's, like, a slash, pierce, bash kind of system and some stuff takes more damage from it. Oh dear, I've done it again. No, I tried to jump over it. Yeah, like that, a fully charged axe shot one shot these guys. So this thing just sucks. Uh, 
All right, this is where I died, right? Because a plant comes up. No? Yes. All right, well, <laughs> it worked for some reason. I don't know what it is about, like, retro gaming boutique electronics that seems to create that kind of pettiness. I guess I'll take the magic. Ideally, I would get both. I think the sword might do the same damage as the axe. All right. This boss is hard. Damn. Okay, so there's a guaranteed... I think I need to avoid the axe upgrade. Which, was it in this one? No. Yeah, it's okay. Hey, CC. Oh, dear. All right, well. <laughs> yeah, unlike the Legendary Axe, it feels like this game really wants you to go for the charge attacks. They're not just part of it, like they are <laughs> the combat. My brother sent me that one, and I was instantly like, CC has to see this. This is the axe upgrade, I think. So I'll just avoid that. I really think it does less damage. Gonna have to. You know, I don't know, at Bridgewater, it seems okay. I could be underestimating it, but it seems pretty easy. Stage 4-1 is really tough. And then everything else has, like, not been that bad. I think I have to do this.
Oh, this game would be impossible if you were a kid. <laughs> the, like, attack gimmick being based on patience alone would suck. I don't know. I think that time stop spell is no good. Yeah, look at that. I skipped that entire phase by hitting with one fully charged axe attack. I, the time stop magic is probably good just for hitting with fully charged attacks. Look how much easier that was without the sword. Cliff. Did Infinite Mystery run this? I have a memory of seeing Infinite Mystery play this. Oh dear. <gasps> no, it doesn't work. Uh, I think I have to. <laughs> nice hit. I was thinking Cliff Anderson from Guilty Gear. I've had Guilty Gear on the brain lately again. Not in a way that like I would ever want to get back into it, just like just thinking about Guilty Gear for some reason. Hey, these guys are just like the like Golem guys from the Legendary Axe. That, these are all going over my head, <laughs> just so you know. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Is this really a castle? Oh no. Pay attention to the signs. I'm standing up now. So, you can reach. Oh, I love to have an, a, a stupid teleporter maze <laughs> at the end of an action game. It's my favorite thing. I was smart. I have this tendency to not do my back exercises after I stream. I did them before. What? Oh, you have to like hold up at these doors? What do they mean pay attention to the signs? You can go backwards. So these both have a gold bloomin' onion above them, and this one has like a purple one. So I wonder if the purple onions are the wrong doors. No. Maybe the exits are just all color coded.
Oh, I know how to score attack this game now. Wow. <laughs> so... It goes gold, purple, gold, right? That meaningful <laughs> that it does that. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to hope that's progress. Yeah, I want to start doing yoga on the subject of exercise. Okay, so... The back exercises are like a physical therapy thing. My guess is they'll work for like general fitness as well, but it's not necessarily, not necessarily the goal. I already tried that door, didn't I? I guess that's progress, because it's got one of these guys. Oh, those blow up. <laughs> I don't think I've ever been hit by those before. That's just like the legendary axe. As soon as you hit something with your axe, it like cancels your attack. Okay, so this is backwards, I believe. If I'm right, there'll be, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm right. Oh, right. Did I try the first door? I don't remember. Sort of. Oh, you really have to hit them on the first cycle. Surely this is bad, right? To go through this door. Drizalizer's got your back there. Okay, so there's two cyan onions. Thank you. 
No! Oh my god, I forgot. Okay, this is wrong, correct? I wanted to back warp, so hopefully this is... Yeah, okay. Is that what it is? I think it may be as simple as if a skeleton pops out of a door. Wait, I should die deliberately. Because then I'll lose the sword. Duh. I was trying to back warp and then get back up to the... Um, axe upgrade, because I think the sword does good damage. It's just the, the second weapon that's bad. Huh, so one thing about that, that bug where it'll, like, attack again if you get hit out of an attack, it'll be whatever level of charge you had. And we're going to take a death here. And boom there. I don't, I don't have a very good Arcus impression. <laughs> Whoa! Oh dear, I did not mean to spawn two of them. There we go. No, why'd I go when I did? You're supposed to do it well, not poorly. There we go. Uh, I don't remember which door was correct. Was it just this one? No. All right. I wonder if it's just as simple as you want to go through the doors that have statues by them? I needed to kill that one. Okay. Yeah, that's it, isn't it? <laughs> you just go to the door that has a statue by it. What a cryptic puzzle. Whoops. Nope. <laughs> that is not what it is. Does anyone know, like, is there a pattern here? 
Or is it just brute force and try every exit until you find the right ones? Go east, of course. Oh dear. See, I thought it would just be like the second door with a cyan emblem. Oh dear. Wouldn't want the kids beating this game in a weekend rental now, would you? A weekend rental. I can't do that guy's voice. I can't do anyone's voice. <laughs> Except for Lick a Tongue, but I'm not gonna do that. I've had enough of this. Can you really? I used to be able to do Marvin the Martian and then my voice changed. Oh. It's still out of hitbox. No. <laughs> what, did you think I was making fun of you? I wasn't. This is the hard part. You can't spawn this guy without also spawning the little, like, blister on the floor. Oh, okay. No! <laughs> I don't like this idea. Do I get a say in this? Dumb. Oh, right. I I should have known that that was not the correct way. This part is so boring. <laughs> no, it happened again. Yeah, I can't imagine why this part this part of the game is so exciting. <laughs> so who told Acom? You know what people want to see at the end of their action platformer? Teleporter maze.
Oh, I went backwards again, didn't I? I've done it again, haven't I? Ow. 15 to 22 feet. Inishika. This is the room that gave me the impression that, like, all of the correct exits had statues by them, right? Yeah. Unbelievable. I've tried going in this door, haven't I? This door doesn't work. Or should I just try it? No. <laughs> that was not the right door. Oh no. Okay, so this door's wrong. What about this door? <laughs> Unbelievable. Get all these enemies. Does someone think they've spotted the pattern? Out of curiosity, like, I know people usually don't like to backseat, especially not me, because I get kind of passive aggressive, but. <laughs> Was that a hint or just you were admiring the enemies? It's gonna be like you have to go back in the same door you came through or something. So this door wasn't it. I swear this door wasn't it either. No, this is correct, isn't it? Let me see something. So there's two cyan symbols and a window. I think 
look at the signs just means like pay attention to the background so you know what the hell room you're in. Since it's like just palette swaps of the same tile set, so it's hard to tell. I'm not sure there was any particular significance to it. I think if I stay here, it like won't attack. Yeah, blue onion, blue window, blue onion. This is an axe quote unquote upgrade. Maybe it's this door. Yeah, this is right. I think it's just there's always a skeleton in the right door. Yeah, I tried that earlier and I thought it didn't work, but I, I think that's it. I know teleporter mazes are stupid and everything, but I kind of feel like that one was on me. Oh shit, as soon as these on these spawn, the boss is gonna spawn. Okay. Huh? Oh, he stops me. This is cool how the bosses all do the same magic as you. Welcome, brave warrior. I am Thorndog. I need to get like a an SM7B and then get way up on the mic. For the proximity effect. I think the proximity effect on the SM57 is like pretty subtle, if I recall. <laughs> this writing. Yes! You think you just hit him in the heart? Well, his hand went away. Oh, it's back. Wait, did he like spend his hand? No. I got him. <laughs> this game is ridiculous. If I recall, the last boss is goofy looking, right? From the cutscene at the beginning. Whoa! It's like. <laughs> He made the same noise I just made. It's like the same. It's like a, when you finally see big fire in uh, Giant Robo. He's not what you think he looks, what you think he's going to look like. I 
I'm stuck! <laughs> Dog seal. <laughs> I don't know. I could be overreacting, but I think the, <laughs> the writing here is really funny. Oh, I can't wait to see what, what a pain in the ass 6-2 is. Gamma Chris, I have a question for you. If I... This is a question for everybody. Would you prefer that I do the Symphony of the Night randomizer off Twitch? I can do it on my Discord server. If people don't want to watch it, then <laughs> I'm gonna not. I forget about the flashing. Blackhorn. You know, what this game needs is a mini boss rush. <laughs> Dragon faces in the background. I don't get how you're supposed to evade that. I don't know. That was rough. Oh, thank God.
Oh, I'm hungry. That's the big thing. Like, I can do Symphony of the Night randomizer. But I need to eat first. Huh? No, I wanted the power up. in a full charge, I think. <laughs> Surely that wasn't the last boss. Was it? Oh, wait. <laughs> this game always goes to cutscenes. Yeah, I'm not too surprised because, like, I don't think ACOM cared that much about, like, smooth difficulty curves in their video games. They have such strange difficulty spikes, which is cool, in my opinion. <laughs> like, not every game has to start out easy and then, whoops, <laughs> I was gesticulating and hit my fan. Um, you know what I mean. Not every game has to start easy and then get more difficult. I think I'm glad most games aren't like this, <laughs> you know, but... I don't know, I'd heard really bad things about Astyanax, it's fine. I think about reticulating splines all the time. And also the zzz, that noise, like, it's... Sometimes I'll be sitting there, like, working or something, and I'll just catch a brainwave, and I'll go like, zzz. Okay, like, at least four people enjoy Mighty Bomb Jack. I'm back! Well, time to go to high school. In my gondolier shirt. <laughs> well, what about this? I'm gonna cut stream because I really need to eat something. I've only had one meal all day. And then I'll go back online and do the Symphony of the Night randomizer. <laughs> I might do that on my alt account. Or is anyone, like, really disappointed about potentially missing Symphony of the Night randomizer? <laughs> yeah, um... It's, uh... This... It's for my chat bot, which I never use. The image of the princess and the sunset is really funny. But yeah, I don't know. We had a good four or five hours of gaming, right? I think I'm good to call it a night here and then maybe come back to do Symphony, maybe not. I'm uh, encouraged by how Gradius 2 went. I think that game is not actually very tough at all. 
Maybe. Maybe, maybe. I don't know. I, cause I can say that now. <laughs> because I haven't beaten the game. If it takes me another, like, five weeks to beat the game, then you probably won't hear me say, Gradius 2, pretty easy. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. I I'm gonna get out of here. Let me see if anyone's live. Mortis is. I'll just raid Mortis because he's who I'm going to watch. Yeah, see you later, everybody. Have a good night. Sorry I ended up cutting it early, but you know, with my back, I have to not sit and game for eight hours, so. Yeah, thank you. I forgot to start the raid. 